Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a shocking recall by Chrysler, our state's battle for tourism, and more. Today is Monday, February 20th, and this is the Morning Report. Over six decades later, their artistry drew a capacity crowd from their seats, filling the Seminole Casino Hotel in aisles and stage front with waving arms, dancing feet, and adoring smiles. The spinners took a sold-out crowd on a journey through the decades past. Henry Fambro, the last remaining original member, along with Marvin Taylor, Ronnie Moss, Jesse Peck, and Charlton Washington, performed smash hit after smash hit in the intimate setting that only the Seminole Casino Hotel can offer. Brought to Immokalee by Jay Goldberg Events and Entertainment, Henry and his spinners performed their musical jewels. Couldn't be on Falling in Love, It's a Shame, Cupid, and so many more. To see all the photos and to read our exclusive interview, visit leeherald.com. This story is important for anybody driving on the roads. Fiat Chrysler says it is recalling some Chrysler cars because drive shaft bolts can come loose on all-wheel drive models, increasing the risk of a crash. The recall is expected to begin March 31st. They announced that roughly 75,000 cars are affected in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. To stay informed about these changes, please visit NaplesHerald.com. Governor Rick Scott, who is currently in a fight with House leaders over the future of the state's tourism marketing agency, said Thursday that Florida hit record tourism numbers in 2016. The surge in visitors came despite reports during the past year of toxic algae booms in Florida, the spread of the mosquito-borne Zika virus, damage from a pair of hurricanes, and a devastating terrorist-related attack at an Orlando nightclub. The numbers indicate that our Sunshine State attracted over 112 million tourists in 2016. We can only hope that this number grows and that more and more people come to see what this wonderful state has to offer. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day.